Every lesson is a journey, and each journey begins with where your students are today. All of your students come into your classroom with a body of knowledge that includes their personal life experiences, as well as the language skills and content knowledge they have already developed. The more you know about your students and the background knowledge that they already have, the better you'll be able to take them on this journey to a higher level of language and content acquisition. This course draws from the best practices in actual Chinese immersion classrooms, along with decades of research in language immersion education. You will watch and work along with teachers at Global Village Academy in Aurora, Colorado, as they plan and deliver lessons in Mandarin Chinese to their students. Throughout the course, you will have an opportunity to practice what you are learning by creating your own lesson plans. Along the way, you'll also be able to test your understanding of the content. You will be able to follow along as three teachers do the planning and finally deliver a lesson for their students. Yeah. Okay, let's review why we're all here. We're all committed to the Kaiser Permanente Service Quality Credo, but we understand that there is an agent here that could threaten everything we stand for. We've had a number of sightings throughout our entire organization of an insurgent element known as the everlasting eliminator of customer service. <gasps> Eeks! Exactly. Now this is what working for Frontier Airlines is all about. The travel benefits are fantastic. <laughs> Ooh, I'm cashing in my bennies for a free trip to Fort Lauderdale. White sand, palm trees, blue skies, drinks with little umbrellas in them, and surf. <sighs> oh Chuck, I see you're a non-rib. You going yes. to Fort Lauderdale today? You got it. Well this dress is totally inappropriate for a flight to Fort Lauderdale today. No, no, Fort Lauderdale, this is perfect. Maybe perfect for Fort Lauderdale, but you can't wear that on the plane. You're gonna have to have a collared shirt, some slacks, and you can't wear those sandals. How many bags do you have there? Uh, well, I got one bag, and then I got a roller and a tap and a cooler. Well, you can only take one bag on the plane. Well, well this you. is a cooler, it's not really a bag. Could... It all began, innocently enough. I was sitting in my office at the Professor Water Detective Agency when I reached out for a glass of water. It had disappeared. The glass was there, but the water was gone. I saw him place a glass of water in the window cell just five days before. It was a full glass of water at the time. I saw the glass two days later, and it was less than half full of water. But now, in just a few short days, all the water has vanished into thin air. In fact, my scientific detective mind can tell you that that's exactly what happened. The water did move into the air, but it didn't simply vanish. What we're trying to do with television and I, as a television producer and director, I can tell you this is what we're trying to do, is we're really trying to achieve a sort of perfection of some sort. Um, we're trying to make things just as good as they can possibly be. I mean, in this program, TV Confidential, we were going through scenes, just tweaking them just a little more this way, a little more that way, we went through all sorts of takes until we thought we were really getting the message across that we wanted. That's what you're doing with television. Uh, whether, whether you realize it or not, people are trying to get a message across, and you're looking for the most perfect way to do that. It's perfect!